welcome to uh, ODI uh, to discuss uh, this report that you all have on your chairs. Um, it's called Sustaining Employment Growth, the Role of Manufacturing and Structural Change, and it's the latest industrial development report. And we're very pleased to, um, uh, to have uh, Dr. Alcorta here from, the, from UNIDO. Uh, not only do we share the same nationality, if I may say <laughs> so, we also share a passion for, um, for writing and thinking about industrial policy. Um, we like the topic, structural change and employment. Uh, here at ODI, we host um, a, a secretariat or a support structure for the DFID ERC Growth Research Program. And, uh, and in that program, there are a range of, uh, of ground holders who, uh, who, who write about innovation. And uh, an underlying theme is, uh, is also very much about structural transformation. And we have had a range of meetings uh, on structural transformation already. So it's a very, um, very um, important issue for us at, uh, at ODI. Um, and this report will also uh, will shed a lot of light on, on uh, structural transformation, structural change, and the role of manufacturing uh, in, uh, in this. Um, but the role of manufacturing is actually uh, the, the, the popularity of the topic varies. Uh, dramatically um, uh, over time uh, by country. Uh, last week, for instance, we were in uh, in Bangladesh and, and Ludo was there as well, and we had a, a meeting on garments and upgrading, and uh, it's a fantastic meeting. Uh, we had uh, uh, a lot of interest in it. There were 20 camera cameras. There were 40 newspaper articles <laughs> right away. Uh, there were three and a half thousand people watching online. <laughs> And uh, so a fantastic uh, interest in, in this, in, in, in an LDC, in the least developed countries. And uh, when you then come back here in London, <coughs> then uh, for a long time, uh, the interest in manufacturing has been sort of, uh, been dominated by sort of some academics, but not the policy makers. So in, the, in, in development policy, we're thinking more about resilience, about climate change, about governance, uh, about uh, a range of other of, of other issues. Now, of course, they're very much related, but they don't necessarily talk a bit about uh, a, a lot about, uh, about manufacturing. Although perhaps that might change. And as by of introduction, also let me just quote one paragraph from one, one bilateral donor uh, uh, working on development issues, uh, which says uh, poverty is still predominantly a rural phenomenon. However, wealth creation and poverty reduction will re rely in the long term on the majority uh, of the rural poor finding livelihoods outside of agriculture. This will require sustained growth in job creating, manufacturing and services over time. Now, of course, we need to think a little bit about the role of manufacturing in, uh, in all of this. And we'll, uh, um, we'll um, uh, this is, by the way, from, from the uh, Department of International Development, their recent economic development strategy. We need to think a bit about sort of how, uh, how um, manufacturing can indeed sustain uh, job generation. And of course, we need to think a bit about heterogeneity within, uh, within manufacturing as well. So we have a panel. Uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, have uh, Ludo talking about uh, the uh, report uh, in about 20, for about 20 minutes, and then we have three discussions. Uh, two of our discussions are uh, connected th th through Skype. Um, I hope they can see us. Hello, there's, uh, there's Professor Maggie McMillan, uh, who is online uh, through Skype, and there's also Professor Charlon Fu from uh, from the University of Oxford, uh, and here we have uh, Jody Keane, who is. Uh, uh, leading our work on uh, global value chains uh, in the International Economic Development Group. 